We've all got the coats out now, especially if you're living in Alberta or Saskatchewan and Manitoba. So you know what? They've got to be clean. But when do you wash it? Let's find out. Lisa Rogers, everyone. Uh, From Fashion Friday came. There you go, right? Yeah. Yes. On a Wednesday. Oh, Thank you so, so much happy. for coming in. Well, you know what? It is important, you know, when you're talking about fashioning and you're investing in these beautiful pieces, especially right. in the winter, that we understand how to take care of them. Yeah. Because you want them to last, especially in the investment of a coat. Because this is the sort of thing you don't have to dispose of at the end of the season. You That's can have right. a season after season That's if right. you take care of a property. And our laundry loads are lesser in the winter because we don't have the sweat and the heat yeah. and therefore we're having to wash more regularly. But definitely with coats, sometimes I think people are um, intimidated by the fabric. Or they, it is a little frightening. It is a little look frightening. Look at how beautiful and creamy and woolly that a looks. A cotton t-shirt. So mm -hmm. how do you take care of them? Well, a wool coat is a great example. Um, twice a year. I always say at the start of the season you might want to take it in and get it dry cleaned. Mm -hmm. I definitely encourage dry cleaning with wool and as well at the end of the season. But as the season goes along you can spot clean yeah. and you can get a good brush that will lift the nap up and keep it looking fresh. Okay. So that's really important with wool coats. If you're spot cleaning it, what are you using on wool? Are you using like the most lightest, delicate sort Very of? Very delicate. Okay. You know what, there's so many products available on the market now that really mm. deal specifically with, you know, that fabric that you're talking about. And it's worth just checking that out. For sure. Even just a little water. Just a little That's bit of true. water, even a little bit of like delicate soap that you yeah. might use in your laundry load is fine. Okay. Now out in the market now there's a lot of these new techno fabrics which are great. They're light, yeah. they're comfortable, and they're easy to care for as well. Love these. And there are products on the market specifically for these because a lot of them are waterproof, yeah. which we're looking for. Mm -hmm. And once you actually dry clean or wash these, what happens is you lose that ability to have them again waterproofed and with this with as well with breathability. Right. So there's a lot of great new products on the market. This one in particular I like because you don't have to actually clean the coat. You just spray the coat. It gets rid of the odors and it, you know, just generally takes care of the garment. And that's generally not a roll it up and put it in your washing machine That's right. Coat. Not at all. No. Okay. You have to look at that. Because there are some you can. There are some things you can. Puffers are a good example of where you can actually do that. Twice okay. a year I highly recommend that. You're going to throw those in the washing machine on the cold cycle. Yeah. You know, a lot of washing machines now too have have special cycles where it's for more delicates and you can be more conscious of what you're putting in and how you're turning that dial so right. this is a great example hang it up to dry do it in cold water yeah and then when it's dry throw it in your dryer and put in three tennis balls because what happens is if you do hot water or you mix it in with too many things it actually breaks down the feathers and then you lose oh. that warmth and puffiness so to pump her back up yeah make sure it's cold water and put the tennis balls in there it helps a and lot and it will redistribute the feathers that's right that's that's great. Now, leather and suede, really, you have to get it dry cleaned. Yeah, because you what else really are you going to do? do? You can, again, you can spot, spot clean a little bit. There are leather products. If you go to your shoe, you know, guy, he's got all kinds of things for cleaning. But yeah. you really need to, and, a, you know, a, a suede, you can use a suede brush, like on shoes, yeah. to lift the nap up. Yeah. But beyond that, I really encourage everybody to that take jacket, it. By the way, that, I know, is that was cute. Well, sporting life. I went to Sporting Life for all the clothes, and they nice. have a great selection. Now, okay, now sweaters. sweaters. So sweaters, uh, you don't want to throw that in the dryer, and then it no. ends up a sweater for your dog. Actually, it's you interesting. You want to figure out how to do it the right way. That's and most right. people would just say automatically dry, dry cleaning. Clean. You don't have to do that. Actually, I think hand washing is fantastic. Yeah. You can soak it again in cold water, mm -hmm. um, and and then just let it sit there for an hour or so in a delicate delicate wash, which is right. great, but I now am fortunate enough to have a washing machine with that delicate cycle, yeah. and I personally, and I'm not telling everybody, should, I personally put my ca cashmere sweaters and all my sweaters mm -hmm. in the washing machine. I don't put the bigger, okay. bulker, bulkier wool ones in, yeah. but I do with my cashmere, because cashmere, as you wash it, the yarn gets tighter. As the yarn gets tighter, it gets softer. Mm. So I put it in and cool cycle with a special wash in a, you know, just an easy cycle. I take it out, I dry it. Then you I flat dry I it? I flat dry it out yeah. on a towel. Then I will finish it in the dryer just dusting it up a little bit and some dryers now have a steam cycle right. so you can put a little of the steam cycle which takes out any of the uh, wrinkles in a cashmere and it will 
it will be beautiful after as well as Very wool. Cool. A okay. lot of the refined wools are great to do that well, way as well. Now, I like the fact that you said, listen, I'm not telling you guys all to go home and put your cashmere no. sweaters in the washing machine. No. Because it also depends on your washing machine. Very we all important. know our washing machines, they all work a little differently. But That's right. If you want to try it with a scrap you don't really care about, That's right, with see something. if it works, That's right. and then why not? You save a lot of money. That's right. And things that we know we can throw in the machine, like things that are like a fleece or things that are like yeah. this I highly recommend Does, has anybody done the the washing machine or the dryer and they've left a Kleenex in their pocket oh yeah now everything is covered oh, with Kleenex yeah. okay so first of all think about what else is going in the machine at the time yeah. I encourage you to wash these inside out mm -hmm. okay inside out so you don't have to worry about lint catching into the fabric which you can never get out again mm -hmm. you can sit there picking for hours right? yeah and then in most cases you'll find with these products this is um you know really made for the outdoors it's great it can go in the dryer but I have still have a tendency to hang it up to dry and then I finish it in the dryer and that works really well for me it just sort of lightens yeah. and fluffs it, it fluffs it up that way you still get that nice dryer feel now, even how if they can't about do a whole hats, cycle gloves and scarves those are the yeah. things we forget we just keep thinking we're putting them on and it's okay think oh, about this you put this on and then you jump on the subway that's right and you hold the dirty pole yeah and then you sneeze <laughs> and, <chew. laughs> and yes. then you go like yeah and you wipe your apple. lipstick off right <laughs> you wipe your lipstick you wouldn't believe they're filthy filthy not only that but how about toques because they're going around your forehead makeup you oil. are you are perspiring in the winter time and is really warm on your forehead you do have makeup on yeah. so don't hesitate you can hand wash most of these again if it's waterproof like this mm -hmm. use a specialty product but you know what with leather gloves you have to get them dry cleaned yes you do and don't How forget often do I have to wash my gloves scarves. anyways I guess when they start getting gungy just do well, something well you know it's sometimes hard to see their gungy because of the color and the nature of the texture of the fabric the same with coats it's yeah. hard to see that I encourage you with coats everybody at least twice a season for sure really to think about it and gloves depending on how active you are you may have to do it a lot more often than that okay and scarves are around your neck you yeah. know it really so that's a wool depending on what it is it can be a cotton combination it can have poly in it yes. so read the label you'll be able to tell and you know what hopefully you've got a product you can throw in the machine or you can hand wash otherwise a little dry cleaning and that product will last a lifetime really very good yeah. remember to look out for specialty products because yeah. there's one for almost everything including my workout gear so thank exactly. you for that tip. let's go to break we have got more coming up